Because you guys demanded it, on today's installment of Weekend Wank Shop, we're going to be learning the real way to play one of the baddest guitar tunes of all time. I'm the one by Van Halen. <laughs> Hey there kids and welcome to this week's installment of Weekend Wank Shop. Here's your best buddy, Uncle Ben. I'm the One by Van Halen is one of the most badass guitar songs of all time and you guys have been asking me to do a complete lesson on how to accurately play the intro and all those crazy weird licks and fills that Eddie does for quite some time now. But as always, before we get into the lesson, let's hear it all again at stepdad speed. <laughs> Sounds like ZZ Top. And as always, you guys can find a full tab for this week's lesson over on my Instagram page at Ben Eller Guitar. Search for the hashtag WeekendWankShop209. Find the tabs for this thing, learn how to play it, then upload a video of yourself shredding through it along with the hashtag WeekendWankShop. And if you want to play along with this week's lesson and the record, be sure to tune your guitar down one half step. Okay, first things first about this, you absolutely have to nail the swing rhythm that he is playing in the set. And this is at a really high BPM. It's very hard to maintain a good solid swing at that tempo, but of course Eddie is like the grand master at that stuff. What I mean is whenever you're playing like especially these A's, you know, the last thing you want to sound like is this. That's a really straight one and two and three and four and kind of rhythm. This has a swing to it. One, a two, a three, a four. And when you're doing that swing thing, it's really essential to make sure you're doing downs and ups, downs and ups, alternating your downs and up strokes here with your picking hand. Now the intro is in two sections here, and the first one is going to start off on that open A string. Again, we're just swinging on that open A here a little bit. Then hit your D7, swing on that A some more, hit your D5. Really essential when you play these accent notes, they gotta be up strokes. That's what gives them that snap. Don't do this as down strokes. Like that, it'll, sw it'll uh, really throw your swing off over here in the right hand. So be sure to hit these as up strokes. Seven, five, seven. And then there's kind of a ghost note on the A before you hit this double stop. That's just D and G on fret number five. Next, you're gonna do the same stuff, but replace the double stop with the third fret on the A string. So it sounds like this. Give it a little vibrato too. Now the next part right here was kind of a surprise to me. I'd never noticed this before. Sounds like this. Okay, so this is essentially the same, you know, seven, five, seven thing, but whereas you usually go to the double stop on the G and D on five, he gives you a little preview of that first really weird lick he's gonna play. Okay, so you're gonna go seven, five, seven, and then that ghost note on the A before you play this. So this is the G, G5, pull into open, 
and then the seven on the D. Okay, so it's. Again, this is a preview of the really fast lick coming up right here. So, so far you should have this. And this is the part that's really kind of up for a dispute, but again, listening to the isolated track and just knowing how Eddie does a lot of his pentatonic stuff with these open strings, I believe what he's playing is this. It's such a jumbled mess, but it sounds so badass. Now what we're doing here is we're hitting the B5, pulling off to open, G7, G5, pulling to open, and then the D7. Okay, so that's a B with a pull off, two notes on the G, pull off, and then the seventh D. That's the figure. Now myself, the way that I like to pick that is to go down, down, up, down. Okay, down, down, up, down. That's the way I do it. I can't attest to what Eddie is using. But either way, what he's going to do is he's going to play that lick through two times in a row. These are triplets, okay? Triplet, 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 triplet. And then what you're going to do is to basically move the entire lick up a set of strings. So now I'm playing the G5, pulling to open. Two notes on the D string here, seven and five, pulling to open. And then the 7A. So it's kind of like you had the little preview. Two times starting on B. Then one time starting on G. And then on the D string here, you're going to play 7, 5, open. And that's just a pull off right there. Okay? I'll play that again here. It really just took me sitting there and playing that pattern on repeat before I kind of got a feel for it. It's pretty odd stuff. So that's the entire first section of the intro. Next section of the intro repeats most of the same stuff. You're going to do the 757 double stop, 757 third A thing, some more here. So that's just back to the double stop. So it's double stop, third, double stop. And then he does these harmonics. Sounds to me like he's doing the A, 12th A harmonic, 12th G harmonic, three harmonics here on the seventh fret. We're gonna do A, D, G, and then the uh, G on five. Okay, so it's open, A, G, go to seventh fret, A, D, G, fifth fret, G. You could also play it as putting just two harmonics on the 7th, A and D, and two harmonics on the 5th, D, G. Either way, it's the same, because those, those are the same pitch. And after you hit that 5th G, he gives it two little quick dips with the bar before we enter into the second portion of the intro. Most of the time, people use too many pick strokes when they play this. There's not that much picking in it. So on pretty much all of these, there's a little ghost note of the open G, and that's going to be an upstroke. Sounds like on the very first one he doesn't do it, but on all the subsequent ones, there's like a little bit of a ghost note on the open G before you come down with a downstroke on the 8 on the G. And what you're going to do here is a series of pull-offs. You're going to play 8, pulling to 7, pulling to 5. <laughs> And again, that upstroke is just kind of like a little wind up before you really stomp on it with that down and the pull off. Gonna go to that uh, seventh D here two times. Okay. Fifth D two times. And do those as upstrokes. You can tell he's really snagging those with a really aggressive upstroke. Then just hammer on to the seventh D. He doesn't go and pick it like that. It sounds a little bit softer than that. He's using a hammer on. That's the basic figure right there. After this, he starts to add on a couple of different endings to this. Okay, so this, I had that same lick, the two fives. But then instead of doing the hammer on to seven like you did before, you're gonna play A, third A, 
fourth A, and then the two on the G. Cool and bluesy. Back to the first part. Then we get to this lick here with all the harmonics in it. Kind of reminiscent of something in You Really Got Me. What you're gonna do is to start off on the fourth G right here, and you're gonna kinda kinda rake into it a little bit. You get some good velocity here. Hit it with a slight pinch harmonic and give it like a quarter step bend. It's not much, just a little bend. Then you gotta play the five on the G, same deal, slight harmonic, slight bend. Then you gotta walk down the D string here. You're gonna hit that seven. Again, slight harmonic, a little tiny bit of a bend. And I think that's the last bend he really does. It sounds like the rest of them are pretty straight. Play the six on the D with the harmonic, five on the D with the harmonic. And then on the A string here, we're gonna do the same thing, just walk it down, seven, six, five, three. You can get sassy and put little bends on all of them, really. It goes by so fast, it's honestly hard to tell. After that, back to the lick. Then this last time, we get this super cool lick. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is after you do that hammer onto the seventh D, you're gonna just start sliding up the neck, okay? And basically where you're looking to end up is around, around fret number 19 or so, because that's gonna put you in the position you need to be to play this next lick, which is total gibberish. It's almost like a, like a Dimebag Daryl lick, you know, where it's just like, it's just a fingerboard pattern. It's not a scale but it sounds so badass. And the thing about it that's cool too is if you kind of look at it from a theory perspective, it starts on a good note. It starts on, you know, we're playing against A right now. It starts on the major third of A, so that's a nice sound. And it ends on an A, so it ends on the root note of an A chord. So it's kind of like he starts off with a good note, ends with a good note, there's a whole bunch of gibberish in the middle, and he just sells the absolute shit out of it, and it's awesome. Okay, so after that last time through, like I said, you're gonna slide up the D on uh, fret number seven. And you're gonna land right here. Okay, so I'm starting off on the A here on 16. I'm gonna hammer on to 17, hammer on to 19. Same thing on the D. On the G, you're gonna do it two times. Okay, so it's A, D, G, G. Again, those are really quick triplets, sextuplets, really. Same thing on the B. And then on the high E, what he's gonna do is to play the lick again. Again, that's just 16, 17, 19, before he lands on just the 17 on the uh, high E string, which is your root note of A. And whenever he plays that last lick up there, he also engages a, I think it's a flanger, it might be a phaser. I used a flanger here in Logic on my session and it sounds right to me. I'm a total idiot, I always like get those two mixed up. You know, if you had a gun to my head and asked me which one's a phaser and a flanger, I would probably be dead. So I always forget which is which. I know somebody in the comments will be like, it's a flanger of course, or it's a phaser. I don't know, just put something on it, it sounds cool. Okay, so let's hit it all together now. It's gonna start off swinging on that A string. Double stop. Third. Preview. Weird lick. Back to swinging. Double stop. Harmonics. Your second lick. Harmonic lick. Slide. So sick.
Just remember to stay super loose, really try to get in that swing kind of feel in this right hand. Again, it cannot be straight. It sounds totally lame if it's straight. Be sure to swing the hell out of it over here. And remember those upstroke accents, like on the double stop and on the third. Really important to nail those down or it just won't sound right. Dig in hard with that pick, don't use too much gain, and use a pretty generous amount of reverb and you should be on your way. Thank you guys as always for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for new lessons every single week. And let me know in the comments below what other classic Van Halen tunes you guys like to talk about here on future installments of Weekend Wank Shop. You guys can follow me over on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars or my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And if you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Thanks again so much for learning this classic intro. Now get away from the computer and go play some guitar, kids. Less clicking, more picking.